With Video Studio, you can easily add multiple overlay tracks to create dynamic video montages and add great effects to your videos. You can overlay pictures or videos over your main video and add transparency borders or use fun mask frames. You can also use chroma key with green screen footage to create special effects. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with overlays to create more compelling videos. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. Make sure you have the video you want to work with added to your video track on your timeline. From the library panel, you can drag the video or image you want to use onto overlay track one. You'll see that the video has now been added on top of your main video. From the preview pane, you can reposition the video to your desired placement. You can also resize the video by dragging the orange boxes or even change the perspective by dragging on the green boxes. To add a second overlay track, right-click on the timeline and select Track Manager. Then select the number of overlay tracks you would like to add and click OK. Now I'm going to add a second overlay to my video. I'll drag the video from the library onto overlay track 2. Again, I can readjust and reposition the overlay as we did previously. To make more customizations to these overlays, double-click on the overlay on the timeline, which will bring us to the Edit options. We can make some adjustments to the selected overlay, such as adjusting the transparency level by clicking on these up or down arrows, or dragging on this slider here. You can also choose to add a border. Adjusting the arrows up or down will determine the thickness of the overlay border. Then just click on the white box to change the border to the color of your choice. Now I'm going to double click on my other overlay to make some more adjustments. This time I want to add a fun mask frame. I'll select the blending tab from the top. Then under matte modes, I'll select mask frame. From here, I can select any of the pre-installed mask frames that I want to use. We have also provided some free mask frames for you to use that you can download by clicking on the link in the description below to go to the Discovery Center. After downloading these free masks on your computer, click on the plus icon and browse to where they are located on your computer. Then select the mask you want to use and click Open. We can preview the mask to see what it looks like with our video. I've decided to select this mask instead. As a final touch, I'm going to add a quick transition before each overlay by clicking on the Transitions tab and dragging a transition in front of the overlays on the timeline. Now when we preview the video, this creates a nice smooth transition for the overlays popping up over the main video. Using Chroma Key, we can splice two different video streams together to create one single video using elements from both. For example, if we have a weather broadcaster presenting in front of a green screen, we can replace the green background with a map or other background. So I have some green screen footage of a couple hiking, and I want to add a nice outdoor backdrop. I'm going to start by dragging the background I want to use onto the video track on the timeline. Now drag the green screen footage onto overlay track 1. I want this overlay to be larger, so I'm going to right-click on the overlay on the preview pane and select Fit to Screen. Now it fits the screen nicely. From here, I'm going to make adjustments on the timeline to make sure the background clip matches the length of the overlay. Now I can double-click on the overlay track on the timeline and select the Chroma Key tab make sure to check the box beside chroma key. The green screen will be automatically keyed out, but if your green screen color doesn't quite match the default green, you can use the color dropper icon to select the color you want to make transparent in the preview pane. You may need to adjust the color similarity value to get the transparency just right. In my case, the default option works perfectly. Depending on the background clip you use, you may even want to adjust the positioning of the overlay so it appears more natural in the background. 
I'm going to reposition the overlay of the couple down a bit. As you can see by previewing the result, all of the green background has been hidden from the overlay and it appears as though the hikers really are in the mountains. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.